In this video, I want to talk about how we can compare and convert rates and units using cross multiplication. All right, so when we want to convert or compare units or rates, what we want to start with is what we know. This isn't really just an area where I guess a problem for just this. Uh, you should always start with what you know. But when it comes to convert, uh, converting or comparing units, what we were looking for is some type of conversion, a way to convert one unit into another. What we're going to do is once we take that information, we're going to set up equivalent fractions. This is kind of the key piece in being able to cross multiply and divide is that we need to set up two equivalent fractions. We need to know three out of the four pieces of information. I'm going to show you what that looks like when we do an example. And then once we've set that up, we're ready to cross multiply and divide. The best way for me to show you how this works is to just kind of go through an example. So let's go through one. Compare the two rates for bulk cashews. You can purchase them for $23.29 for a 1.13 kilogram bag at Costco or $4.44 for 200 grams at Walmart. Which one should you purchase? So for Costco, what we have here is that we're going to be paying $23.29 for a 1.13 kilogram bag. Notice that I'm setting this up as a fraction. In the numerator, I have my dollar amount, and in my denominator, I have the kilograms. What I'm going to be setting this equal to is another fraction. I want to know how much am I going to pay, and again, I'm going to use a variable to represent this section, and I want to know how much am I going to pay for one kilogram. So here's kind of that step two. What I'm doing is I'm setting up two equivalent fractions. I need to know how much would I pay for one kilogram. How I cross multiply and divide is I'm always going to multiply the two numbers that are diagonally across from each other. So in this question, I'm going to be multiplying 1 times 23.29. What we'll then do is divide by the third number that is left over. So in this case, to get x, I'm going to be going 1 kilogram multiplied by $23.29, and then I'm going to be dividing by 1.13 kilograms. What you're going to notice with cross multiplying and dividing is that your units are going to cancel. Kilograms and kilograms will cancel and then I'm being left with an amount in dollars. So let's plug that into our calculators. What I get here when I plug that in is $20.61 and that's going to be the amount that I'm paying for one kilogram at Costco. Let's do the same thing at Walmart. What we have at Walmart is that I'm going to be paying $4.44 for 200 grams. Here's where we need to kind of think about what do we know? Well, I know that one kilogram is equal to a thousand grams. So if I can purchase 200 grams, what I need to think about is instead of writing a one kilogram kind of in the denominator over on this side, I need to write 100 grams instead. So this is where I'm talking about we need to create equivalent fractions. I can't compare different rates or I guess more than two different things when it comes to fractions. I have to convert dollars to dollars and then grams to grams. I wouldn't be able to go from grams to kilograms in the denominator and then keep the same units in the numerator. So this is where it's really important that we know what we're talking about. We know all of our conversions. So what I'm going to have here is now again cross multiplication. I'm going to be looking for y. If you're doing more than one step, it's a good idea to start using different variables instead of using x all the time. So here with this cross multiplication, it's very similar to the last one. We're going to go 1,000 multiplied by $4.44, and then we will divide by the 200. Let's plug that in. What I get when I do that is $22.20. So when I compare these two prices, what I'm going to notice is that I'm going to be paying significantly less at Costco. So therefore, what would be a good idea is that if we went to Costco and purchased the cashews. Let's try one more example. Example two, one slingshot describes that it can shoot objects up to 30 meters per second, while another states it can shoot objects at 100 kilometers per hour. Which slingshot can shoot objects faster? A few conversions that we need to know. So let's start with what do I know? Well, what I have here is that I need to be able to compare meters and kilometers. So it might be helpful to know what converts one between the other. What I know is that one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. We're also going to need to compare seconds to hours. So it's probably a good idea that we know how to convert between those two. So if one hour is equal to 60 minutes, I would need to multiply the 60 minutes by 60 again, and I get 3,600 seconds. So I'm able to now to convert between hours and seconds. 
Where I want to start is with Slingshot 1. Slingshot 1 is being compared, or I guess written in meters per second. I want to rewrite that in kilometers per hour so that then I can compare the two speeds. You could also start with 100 kilometers per hour and convert it back into 30 meters per second. It really doesn't matter which one you choose. So let's start with Slingshot 1's speed. Here what we have is 30 meters per one second. And we're going to have to do this in two steps. I need to eventually get this into being kilometers per hour. So what we should start with is how many meters would I travel in an hour? Here's where this conversion is going to help us. I know that 3,600 seconds is the same as one hour. So when I go to set up my equivalent fractions, I have 30 meters is going to take me one second. So then how many meters will I travel in 3,600 seconds? And then we can solve for x. Cross multiplying and dividing here, I'm going to multiply 3,600 times it by 30, and then I'm going to divide by 1. Let's plug that in and see what we get. What you should have is 108,000 meters. We now know how many meters we're going to travel in that amount of time. However, the unit that I need to compare it to is in kilometers per hour. So what I need to do is now convert my distance into kilometers. This is where this formula is going to help us out a little bit. So now let's use our conversion. I'm going to set this up as I know that 1,000 meters is equal to 1 kilometer. What I set this up equal to is that I know that I have 108,000 meters and I want to know how many kilometers is that. I've purposely set up the conversion this way so that you can see the cross multiplication slightly differently than how we've been doing the other ones. What you always want to remember is that you're multiplying across diagonally. So we're going to multiply 1 times 108,000. And then we're going to divide by the third number that is in our conversion. So here when we do that, we're going to have 108 kilometers. So what I now have is that I slingshot 1 will shoot at 108 kilometers per hour. And now we're able to compare that with slingshot 2. Slingshot 2 only shoots it at 100 kilometers per hour. So therefore, we've now answered our question. So which slingshot can shoot objects faster? That will be slingshot 1. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, please let me know.